Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to connect a MongoDB database using Go programming language and also how to run the database in an easy way using Docker. This is very useful as a first step to create an application and interact with its database. If you'd like to know more about Go packages, do not hesitate to check my other video. You can also find nice notes about the packages used in the Notion link available below in the description. So let's start with initializing the project. Go March in it. And I'm going to call it Mongo Connect. Let's go to our main.go. And so the package we'll be using today is the Mongo package, as you might expect. Connection to the database is very straightforward according to the documentation. Here we can see package Mongo provides a MongoDB driver API for Go. Basic usage of the driver starts with creating a client from a connection string to do so-called connect. So let's use this code to write our main function. So context cancel. According to the documentation, we have to set a time limit after which the operation will be cancelled. And then we defer the cancel to prevent memory leaks. This means this line will be executed at the end when the main function is done. Now we create our client which will connect to the database. So all the syntax is from the documentation. I'm trying to explain how it works. This uh, table in Notion page can also help a lot. Here we've been prompted to import the MongoDB package. So if you're using VS Code or other code editors like IntelliJ, for example, you can use this quick fix. But if you don't, you can always type the command go get and the name of the package to import. So to connect, we use the dot connect. We give the context and also the needed URI by typing this. The URI uses the Mongo protocol. Here, to have a better idea, we can go to the MongoDB documentation. And the URI is well explained. So let's have our URI const, which uses the MongoDB protocol. We don't have any authentication in our URI, but if you do, add them according to the documentation. And we are running on localhost port 27017. It is usually the port for MongoDB. And let's add it here. As usual, we need to handle the error. So if there's a problem connecting, I want to see that. Let's change that to fatal F to log the error. Finally, let's ping our client to see if it can connect. This will return an error. If it's not null, we'll handle it. Otherwise, let's print success message. Now we build the app. See, we have no errors, so we can run it. Since we did not start any MongoDB instance, it's normal that our attempt will fail to connect. This is why in the next part of the tutorial, I will show you how to create a database instance easily using Docker. But first, just to show you how the program should work, I will just start the container I have. And now it's all good. If you don't already have Docker on your machine, just go to docker.com and get the version for your OS. I am using Docker Desktop for Mac. If you are not familiar with Docker, you can still follow along with this. It's very easy to set up. So we go to Docker Hub now and search for the MongoDB image. Here, the first one is an official image. You can read a little bit about it if you want to. We will use the pull command to pull the image. 
If you don't set a specific tag, the latest will get pulled, so I'd prefer to use the A.0 version. To me, it will just say that the image exists, but if you don't have it in your system, just wait until it's finished downloading. Then we'll use this command. So docker run d is to run the container in a detached mode. That means this terminal will remain free and the container is kinda running in the background. Then its name, simple mongodb, you can name it what you want. The port, it's 27017 from the container to 27017 in the machine. It's fine if you don't understand everything about docker, it might be a little advanced for some of you. Dash V is for volume, this is where the data will be stored. And finally, we specify the image, which is the one we just pulled, mongodb 8.0. Now if you type docker ps here, you will see we have this container running. Also, you can see it from the dashboard of the Docker desktop. Now, back at our application, let's run it. Before testing here, we can try this command. It's a native Unix command to test the connection. We see it's successful. Now from the Go app, We now were able to successfully connect to the database. So thank you for watching. If you like the video or you have any questions, please drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon in another tutorial.